During this time of lockdown, how are you connecting with the grandparents every single day? Now, I can imagine that it's too much to do a Zoom call every single day. So there's got to be an easier way to connect with the grandparents. And that's what I'm going to talk about today is a way of connecting asynchronously through unlisted YouTube videos. And I'll, I'll show you some tips about protecting the privacy of your kids and ways of showing and showcasing their creativity. We are here to transform screen time from sedation to relation, making sure that we show their interests and ultimately to creation, creating something new. And creation and relation doesn't really work unless you have an audience, right? So if you're just submitting this straight into the Google Classroom, forget it because there's no audience. Really, like you don't even know if the if uh, somebody's going to respond, right? And your peers won't see it. So this is really, really important. If there isn't an audience, it is good for the kids, but it is also really good for the grandparents as well because they really do want to connect. They want to know what is the creative output of the grandkids and they don't have that opportunity. They may be more high risk. How do we keep everyone safe? Um, and that leads to my new decal and my new message for today um, is that this is the, the Uncle Ben quote kind of reverted a little bit with great responsibility comes great power. And so we're going to take extreme responsibility in order to solve this problem. And that's what's going to give us power back as parents during this time. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. So the first step that I would like you to do is look at your light. Everybody thinks that, oh, okay, well, maybe, um, you know, I just need a really fancy camera or something. No, you do not need a fancy camera. Forget fancy cameras. All of my video recordings start with this guy. Just a iPhone 6S, you know, what is this, like five, six years old? It is not a fancy phone at all. You do not need a fancy thing. You don't need anything fancy, okay? So the simpler, the better. So I want the light facing me. And so that's going to give me the brightest image. So you can see now I'm going to be able to see myself clearly. It's going to look a lot better, you know, so make sure you use light to your advantage. You have three different privacy modes in YouTube. The first, the, the most extreme privacy level is called like private, which is only the creator's account can see it. You probably don't want that one because then nobody will be able to watch your video. Then the next one above that is called unlisted. Unlisted is everyone who has the link so this URL can see it, but it, you can't search for it and find that video. And, and that is the one that I would recommend. And then the, the, the top one, uh, the one it, that is most like encouraged, I guess, say by YouTube is uh, public. And so public means everyone can search for it, everyone can look for it. And certainly for kids' videos, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advise that. Now, are there other platforms? Are there other ways to make it safer? Mm, potentially. But again, this is about simplicity. And how do we keep people safe or how do we keep our kids safe? The question is, well, what are you recording? Are you recording their faces? Maybe you don't need to, right? If the only thing we need to record is their creative output, then just record their creative output. And so if somebody goes and sees the video, they only see the creative output of your kids, right? Like there are so many YouTube channels out there today that are just the person's creative output, like locksmith lawyer, do you know what his face looks like? No, you don't, right? Because he only focuses on his creative output. And I feel that there's too much emphasis on, oh, they have to be a brand and, you know, they, they, like, they have to become a celebrity. This is not the purpose uh, of this. We are trying to connect with family, with the grandparents, but we are also trying to create a audience for their creative work. And so let's dive into how this can be done, okay? So let's go into the device. So iPad is what my kid uses for school anyways. So uh, I just open up the camera app and I flip the camera to the other side. And so once I flip the camera to the other side, this is literally the recording that I, I will do with him. So I'll just sit here, um, I'll set it to video. Oops, let me do that, switch to video. And so it's the red one. And then I will show maybe like zoomed up like that. And then all he will do is just read, read through his assignment. I'll record that. I'll record that as a video. 
okay? And then once you've done that, you'll have the video, it'll be in your camera roll. You can launch YouTube, and yes, I have screen time limits set up on my iPad and they've already exceeded it for today. Welcome to my world. Ignore limit for today. Okay, I guess that's what I have to do. So, for this channel, I'm going to upload a video and in it, um, I might have something like this, right? So this is like just his recording. Um, and then in this video, he's reading it out, right? So he's already written a bunch of stuff. And, and that's my name, not my kid's name. <laughs> uh, and I, I wrote down like he's good at drawing pictures. And so it, it like shows the grandparents a little bit about him. And then when I go down, um, I have different options. So you can see here, I, ha I can move from public, like I said, unlisted or private or scheduled. And so what you wanna do is you wanna choose unlisted. Once you've got it unlisted, you can add a title, gifts and personality. And what I will do afterwards is then I just hit the upload button. I can add a description too. I can say like he, he did something about gifts and personality, but you don't have to. And so if I hit upload, if you don't care about comments, you could just say, yes, it is made for kids and then comments will be disabled. Uh, and so this is like the gifts and personality video. You can see um, it's uploaded here and then it's already, it's kind of ready to go. And so if I wanna share it, I can just click on share and then here I can go down to copy link. And so once I've got the link copied, usually what I do is I just send that straight into the messages. I press enter, you'll see like, oh, okay, you know, here's the, here's the image of gifts and personality. Um, and then like usually there's some kind of comment about what they found worked. And, and so like there's some feedback, that, that feedback loop. The most important part is just having an audience these days. Um, a lot of, because a lot of the assignments are done in isolation, it is very important to have some kind of audience for creative work. Creativity uh, thrives in a community, but it, it really dies if you are doing it on your own and you never have any feedback from anybody else. So as much as possible, share it with as many family members as possible. Maybe there are several people in the family who really love to see this kind of stuff. Send it to them, it doesn't take any extra time. And the nice thing about doing it this way, where it's uploaded and it's on YouTube as an unlisted video, is they can watch it anytime whenever it's convenient. Like maybe they're too busy today. They can watch it tomorrow, the next day, like a week later. But you, you end up with this constant feed of content that is available for the grandparents. And it makes them feel, even though they're not seeing it directly at exactly the same time, it makes them feel connected. But it also, as a, like a child, when you get that feedback, it makes like the, it, it really facilitates that feeling of connection without the commitment of you've got to meet live during a Zoom call every single day at a specific time. That is too much for most parents today. It's too much for most kids. And so I'd encourage you, we live in a amazing world of technology these days. There's a lot that can be done. We can reverse and we can change and we can use technology for creation. Go and make that video and then share it with them. And if you did, just like tell us what was their reaction? Did, were, they, were they happy to see it? You know, th this is a way of saying that we really care without going out and sharing this with the whole world on Facebook on Twitter or on Instagram, like there are different ways of sharing. Um, and this is the way that has worked really well for our family. A balance between privacy and the connectedness, the relationship. And so if this video was interesting to you, just leave a comment below saying, yep, interesting. Uh, keep making stuff like this. That gives me a lot of feedback and connect with you and say, hey, uh, if we have some future live streams and you want to ask some questions, like." You're certainly welcome to. We're, we want this to be a conversation and not just me saying a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I hope this was useful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye.